Well, she liked flowers, but the, I think that the, what uh, Armando Hart coined the phrase at her funeral, and it, it, and it was actually something close to being like our most precious wildflower, you know, and uh, wildflower meaning uh, you know a native species. Um, and but she did like flowers a lot. Uh, she liked orchids. She'd been collecting them. I mean, they grow everywhere in the Sierra Maestra and that whole area, so it's not as though they're rare. But um, she liked flowers, and she had a big garden before she started to protect the revolution, or plan the revolution and protect Fidel and his men. Um, she was a big gardener. So, um, but what she also did was she understood the power of flowers. And in the revolution, the 1895 revolution, um, many people had, um, well, mostly women and mostly black women, apparently, had carried um, messages through, the, through the, the enemy lines, in other words, through the Spanish uh, army's lines. Um, for the rebels, and they were messages that were rolled up and st put in the stems of the Mariposa because it's a kind of, um, what's the line from uh, William Carlos Williams, like asphodel, that greeny flower like a buttercup, but it's hard and wooden, slightly wooden, you know, in other words, it's a stem that's slightly wooden, and so they would roll them up and carry them. So that, that symbolized uh, resistance, that flower. And so, and it also was really sweet smelling. And it grows um, either in creek beds or by them. And, um, and it's very pretty. And I think also, uh, you know, if, if she wore it on her, her uniform, and you know uniforms they have to smell you're you're going uphill all the time so i mean she's she i'm sure she used the flower to also be very feminine and but she also really symbolized the cuban revolution and the revolutionaries before her that's the whole thing and so the one she was in havana and these big parades boy she would have her her mariposa when I met, the, f the first person that I met was her niece who came to the hotel to meet me and she brought a mariposa. So, I mean, she's completely connected to it. Well, the flower itself was made a hero of the revolution, was it not? That's right. Actually, and Celia had something to do with that. Um, it was by botanists, actually, also. Had, it had been designated a combatant in the Revolutionary War, the first Revolutionary War, because it had such a big role. So, um, the purists say that it's not a native flower. I mean, it's one of the species that came from India and who knows when, you know, but still, still it's pretty, pretty dramatic.